these questions have a pretty bad reputation on the SAT because they provide uh, sort of the first few terms in a sequence, but then ask you for some term that's way, way, way out of the future, or ask you to find the sum of all the terms, or something weird, uh, which generally feels like it's only possible if you had 20 minutes, a half an hour to do that one question, right? That is, if you had a lot of time just to pick the numbers in your calculator. So the key with sequence questions is to look for the shortcut. That is, uh, write out the sequence long enough until you see something happening with the sequence. If it starts repeating or some other interesting characteristic develops. We're going to see a few examples in a second, but that is your approach whenever you see a sequence question. Uh, now, one very important thing to remember is that a sequence question won't always look like a sequence question. Uh, sometimes it'll come in the form of uh, exponents uh, or, um, you know, a pattern question. So uh, it's really important to remember that feeling again. When you think that you could answer the question if you had 20 minutes to write it out, it's a sequence question and you should apply one of these te uh, techniques we're going to uh, explore in a second. So let's take a look at a few example questions. All right, so sequence questions uh, involve uh, writing out something until you either find a pattern or you find something that is a, a characteristic of the sequence that lets you predict uh, where you're going. And sometimes you just have to write it out uh, enough, and then sometimes you'll see the pattern pretty quickly. Uh, let's look at the example. It says the Black Eyed Peas have a new song that goes red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple, black. Red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple, black. I mean, they had a song that they listed the days of the week, so it's not too big of a stretch. Uh, as part of an experiment to determine how bad music has to be before people really refuse to listen to it. If the song starts on red, what color is the 82nd color they sing? Because the song goes on for a while. Fergie does some scat singing in the middle. Anyway, um, well, there are two ways to solve this, and I'll show you both methods. You can pick the one that you like more for sequence slash pattern questions, right? So write out the pattern. So we have red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple, black, right? So the first one's red, the second one's green, uh, green, so on and so forth, right? I like to call this the calendar method, and you'll see why uh, probably now. Um, it starts to look like a calendar, right? The days of the week are the colors, and the sort of the color that they're on is numbered right here, right? Now, if you looked at this, you'd say, okay, well, this goes up by seven every single time, so that's that's cool. Uh, 82 is not divisible by seven, so that's that's not cool, but I can see that this um, final column, this black column, is um, multiples of seven, which is cool because I can pick a multiple of seven that's close to 82, right? So I know if I keep going down, I, I land on 84, actually, right? And if this is 84, I know that, that must be 83. I know that must be 82. And therefore, the, R, the answer to this question, this slightly absurd question, is orange. All right, so that's one way of solving this question, is to um, use what I call the calendar method. This obviously work if, even if there aren't seven. You know, it'll work if there are six or eight or whatever. So uh, this is the calendar method. The other method is a little less intuitive, but it's a little faster as well. And it's called the division method. In which case, you take the uh, term that you're shooting for. In this case, uh, I'm sorry, 80 second term um, and you put it under the, the uh, division bar uh, and then you put the um, number of terms in one repetition of the sequence here and you just divide this into this. So 7 goes into 82 11 times, 11 times 77 is, uh, 7 is 77 uh, with a remainder of 5. Now don't find a decimal, find the remainder which means that you really should probably do longer division and not use your calculator here. Um, but this five is important because it tells you which term you're landing on, right? So one, two, three, four, fifth term, orange. So that's the other way to do this is uh, call, call the remainder method. Uh, it's but Like I said, it's much faster. It's slightly harder to remember. But just remember, you need to find the um, remainder. Okay, so that's one type of pattern question that you're going to say. Uh, the next is uh, a little more straightforward. Um, in this case, they say the fifth term first term is 16, each term after the first is two more than half the previous term. Um, what is the fifth term of the sequence? In this case, only looking for the fifth term, so don't stress out over it, just find it, like just write it out. Uh, so you have 16 as the first term, second, third, fourth, we're going to need to find the fifth term. All right, um, so 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus, I'm sorry, divided by 2 divided plus 2 is 7, right? Divided by 2 plus 2 is 5.5. Divided by 2 is 2.75, divided 
plus 2 is 4.75. Piece of cake, right?